What's up, Tank Nerds? Lottie here again. Um, today is another messy day. My lovely clean black shirt is completely filthy. I've been slaving away all day on the sandblasting booth, uh, cleaning all of the stuff, which is, um, really takes it out of you. <laughs> anyway, while I've been doing boring stuff, Peter has been doing really fun stuff with the engine, which I will show you right now. So Peter has begun dismantling our um, flathead V8 for the Bren gun carrier. On the outside, looks really bad. On the inside, quite the opposite. This is surprisingly one of the nicer engines we've seen in this sort of condition. It's really quite nice. All the gears are pretty well perfect. Don't really see much wearing on them, which is really nice. No problem with that. Um, obviously the water channels, um, they're a bit manky and uh, covered in rust and grime and dirt and whatever have you, but that's not too much of a big problem. <coughs> Excuse me, just coughing away. Um, everything else is actually pretty good. The valves, pistons, everything is really nice. Except for this one here, which does have a crack in it at the moment. Um, that is repairable. And the sleeves are actually pretty nice too. That's really good. On the inside, more of the same story. Actually, everything is very quiet nice we haven't touched the inside this is exactly how it's um been pulled apart and yeah really quite nice one little annoying bit is this is broken off so this is as peter was explaining to me before um hydraulicking so whoever last put this engine back together they did not clean out these holes and as they screwed it back in it created a ton of pressure and it broke that little bit off which is here so peter found that in the uh, oil down there but that's really not that big of a deal um fortunately it doesn't go into the water jacket or anything like that so we can um yeah clean up that and still use it without too much trouble so yeah really quite good Everything else, also really quite good. The gearbox is really quite nice. Like, there's really not a lot of play in it, um, which is really nice. The clutch plate is also, if I can get this up. Eh. <laughs> Hard to do with one hand. The clutch plate is really quite nice so i don't think we're even going to bother getting a new one um that one will plug straight back in without too much trouble so really lucked out on these ones even the flywheel pretty nice obviously we're going to clean it all up but really there's no um nothing glaringly obvious as being wrong with this engine in fact it looks like it's had a rather easy life just unfortunately it's being left outside that's the only problem that we can identify with it so yeah that's um quite good the only thing that we've been told thus far is that it is technically the wrong engine so these ones and again we're learning this as we go um these engines come in two types they come in uh the what we call the little ones and the big ones and that is the bore size so these the uh, bore size comes in three and one sixteenth inch or three and three sixteenths um inch and this is the smaller one which people tell us is not the original bren gun one and it's a british engine potentially but we're still working that one out regardless we are going to be using this engine because um it plugs all together um and it's clearly worked quite well so yeah that will not be a problem at all and it's still a flathead v8 which is the engines that they had 
It's just slightly different. One thing that we aren't so happy about is the radiator. This one is definitely wrong. Um, when we look at the hull that we pulled it out of, they've actually cut down these little rails, um, mounting brackets for the engine, so that the whole radiator could sit a little bit lower. Because this is too wide for these, and it's also too tall to be able to sit on that and clear the um, brackets up here. When we look at this one, which is uncut, yeah, you can see they haven't had this one cut and everything is still intact for it. So we will probably not use this radiator. <coughs> Sorry, you're gonna have to excuse me. Just really dry voice today. Um, this radiator is cactus, so we're gonna need it record anyway. And when you start doing all the sort of cost analysis, it's probably just cheaper getting um, the right radiator, or at least one closer to original than this one. So yeah, that's um, good and bad news. So yeah, I think this will be a quick little short one. My voice cannot handle it today. Um, but no, things have been going really good. So engine is coming apart. No massive dramas, nothing we can't handle. The radiator will be a story for another time when we actually have the time to look into it. Um, but yeah, really good today right now as we're backing up we are going to be potentially looking at our next project fingers crossed and if that does happen we will be getting the ferret outside away from the workshop and we will put another ferret in here to work on but again fingers crossed we're gonna go see it this afternoon and i hope we will work out um what we're doing in that regard so yeah um, a nice short one today, first day back uh, of the week. Um, yeah, pretty good. So, um, keep the questions and comments coming. I'm definitely enjoying them. Definitely learning a lot from you guys too. Uh, and yeah, I will see you on the next one. Hopefully when my voice is better. Bye!